2013, the year we all finally turn into cyborgs. Nike Fuel Bands, Fitbits, Google Glass, the rumored Apple iWatch, it seems like the biggest trend in 2013 is wearable tech. And while those aforementioned products are great at tracking your everyday activities, there's very little outside of voice commands that you can do to control them. And gesture control devices like the Kinect only work when hooked up to a camera in a fixed space using predetermined and programmed movements. And even then, you still end up with movements like this. But that's where Thalmic Labs' Mayo comes in. The Mayo kind of looks like one of those tennis elbow support bands, but instead of soothing muscle pain, the Mayo uses muscle contractions in your forearm to control your devices. Think of it as a power glove that, you know, actually works. Jeez. I love the power glove. It's so bad. The Mayo syncs up with your devices via Bluetooth and then allows you to control them based on your movements. So if you say, want to listen to a song in iTunes, all you have to do is wave your hand, snap your fingers, and walk away while turning up the volume, instead of clicking on the song with a mouse and turning up the volume with your keyboard, like a caveman. Or if you say, want to give a slide presentation like Tony Stark, the Mayo can do that too. The Mayo can even make an apathetic child look like they have evil telepathic superpowers by controlling the Sphero gaming ball. Thalmic Labs says that the Mayo will work out of the box with your Mac and PC and ensure that accidental controls like, say, covering your mouth to sneeze won't send your military-grade vehicle hurtling off a cliff. The Mayo is currently available for pre-order for $149 plus shipping at GetMayo.com and will be released sometime in the future. But what do you guys think? Is wearable tech the next big thing? Are we all going to be walking around looking like cyborgs in 2014? Let me know what you think in the comments. And for more tech feed, subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bradley saying, you mean you have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Back to the Future Part 2 reference. Oh my God. It was Elijah Wood, he was the kid playing Wild Gunman. Wild Gunman was a, was a game that Nintendo put out. They played in the cafe, ca -ca 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 cafe 80s. That was Max Hedrum. He was also a show from the 80s.